and John saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, 
see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him, began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Have you ever met a saint? I'm fortunate enough to say that with certainty, I met a saint. Back in 1997, when I was still in the seminary, I went to Rome for the first time. And we were fortunate enough, my friend and I, to be able to go to the Pope's private mass, Pope John Paul II, now St. John Paul II. And so you go early in the morning, and there were about 30 people or so who were able to attend the mass. Everybody who's there gets to go out into this ante room and you wait in line for the Pope to come and meet you. And so there's a whole, again, like 30 of us, and he just starts down at the end of the room and he gives everyone a rosary and he starts to talk to everyone. Now, I'm maybe like 20th in line. So I'm starting to think, what am I going to say to the Pope? And of course, you're overwhelmed and you're not really sure what to say. And I'm thinking, well, I'm from Philadelphia. I, and then I thought of all these different things I could say. And I had it on my mind. And then he comes up to me. And I was so overwhelmed. He shakes my hand. And all I could say was, Phil is in Philadelphia. I got out Phil. And that's it. 
And then he just he probably thought that was my name or something, and you know, and he moved on. And it was a great experience and good story too, I guess. But thinking back, how I had a real sense of reverence and awe, and maybe there was something in me, who knows, that was saying to me, "You're in the presence of a future saint." But again, back to my original question. Have any of us ever met a saint? Today's feast day is a reminder that we all have met saints. All those who have gone before us that are in the, living in the fullness of eternal life, they are saints, just like we are all called to be saints. And we have all been surrounded by saints who have gone before us. And now, as we strive to make our way to one day enjoy that fullness of eternal life in heaven, we are surrounded by all future saints. It's important for us to try and remember this as we get caught up in the busyness of life and we can just kind of walk right by people and we're just so caught up in everything. But to have a sense of praying for the grace, to have a, a sense of reverence and awe, that we are in the midst of saints all around us. And maybe that is a little hard to keep track of and keep focused on as much as we should try. But another thought along with that is that the future saints, all of us who, you know, we strive to be future saints, in the here and now, we already know with absolute certainty through faith that we are all made and created in the image and likeness of God. And so we who are called to be future saints right now are surrounded by people who are all made in the image and likeness of God. And, and we ourselves are made in the image and likeness of God. And so this is how we are to treat one another. This is how we are to respect one another. This is how we are to approach one another, knowing that the person in front of us is unique and made in the image and likeness of God and destined through God's grace and through living of good and holy lives to be future saints. Let us pray for the grace to always remember this, to strive to be saints, because that's what we're called. This is our identity now, that we're made in the image and likeness of God, and our goal in life is to be saints with the Lord forever in heaven. Let us pray for the grace to remember this and to live out our call to holiness. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. United with the saints in heaven who offer their prayers for us, we ask God our Father to hear and answer our prayers today. Our response is, Lord of life, hear our prayer. For the church, that through our devotion to the saints, we may grow in holiness and lead more people to join together in prayer through Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. For peace in our nation as elect, election day nears, that the virtue of the saints will inspire positive actions of those in leadership positions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of life, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered together here today, that the example of the saints will lead us to strengthen the bonds of our faith, increase our hope, and encourage our love for one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of life, hear our prayer. prayer all the sick of the parish that they may know the heal and touch of Christ in their lives we pray to the Lord Lord of life hear our prayer for all those who have died especially those recording our book of remembrance for the happy repose of their souls 
exchanged with Chiani and Rose Mizonel. We pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we long to share the communion of charity that the saints in heaven have with you. Deepen our desire for sanctity and let that desire govern everything we say and do. We ask this through Christ our Lord. my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today by your gift we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice we acclaim. <laughs> Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Therefore, 
Eucharist, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever, Peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Bless the Lord. 
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you again to everyone for coming and helping to make this possible. We are considering a uh, possibility of another outdoor mass two weeks from today on the 15th, but please check the website <clears throat> and wait for further information about that. And finally, there are two collection baskets if anyone is looking. There's one up here, and there's one as you exit the parking lot. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the glory and joy of the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Amen. Freed through their intercession from, in, from present ills and formed by the, by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen. Amen. So that, together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland, where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.